Tonight, the legacy of the late broadcaster and politician, Don Jameson. And a closer look at a unique goalie mask that was made to commemorate the first season of the St. John's Ice Caps. And make sure you take a minute to clear the living room floor as you may feel the need to break out your square dancing skills. Welcome to Out of the Fog, everyone. We have a great show lined up for you to start off the week. We'll be sitting down with filmmaker Joshua Jameson, grandson of the late Don Jameson, to talk about his documentary called Just Himself, The Story of Don Jameson. He's a man who led a very interesting life in both broadcast and politics. You may remember him as the first Newfoundlander to sit in the press gallery of, the, uh, of Parliament of Canada, a man who was never afraid to speak his mind, especially on the idea of Newfoundland joining Canada. In the early 50s, with the help of his partner, Jeff Sterling, Jameson established a private radio network, as well as the first television station, CJON-TV, where he was the host of a nightly show called News Cavalade. In the late 60s, Jameson entered into federal politics, where he held many liberal portfolios, including Minister of Transport and Secretary of State for External Affairs, and it actually wasn't until the 70s that he moved into provincial politics, becoming the leader of the Liberal Party, and I have no doubt that this will be the interview to tune into uh, for tonight. Yes, it was a great documentary. I watched it the weekend, so it'll be interesting to hear Joshua talk about it, you know, mm -hmm. about the making of it. And if you attended 